Hi, I'm John Campbell, and you may be saying, what the hell am I doing by my washing machine? Well, I'll tell you, I don't have enough light, so the video I'm about to record will be a lot dark. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. I don't have any light bulbs, but when I do, I promise to re-record in better frame rate. Anyways, now, some of you have been saying when am I going to do the Project Gotham Racing 3 versus Gran Turismo 5 Prologue recording? And so I just officially would like to say that I am doing it right now. So, get ready to see the clear difference between GT3, I mean GT5 Prologue versus Project Gotham Racing 3. And overall, whenever I do get Project Gotham Racing 4, it will be a fair review of Project Gotham Racing versus Gran Turismo. But right now, I'll take what I got. So, PGR 3 versus Gran Turismo 5. Let's check out the replays. Like I said, it will be dark because I don't have light bulb. So, without further ado, I introduce to you PGR 3. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, now let's check out Gran Turismo 5 Prologue review, which I think is much more better.
So, there you have it. You know what I'm saying? So, you see the clarity of it. It's quite simple, really. I knew all along that Gran Turismo was the best racing game ever. I just, I just knew it. I just automatically knew it. The graphics of Project Gotham Racing 3 are fantastic. And don't get me wrong. Project Gotham Racing 4, I was told, looks even better because they fixed a lot of problems with Project Gotham Racing 3 hat. Project Gotham Racing 3 only displays in 720p, so that's why you got a little jagginess and a, those little par particle effects that you could easily see because it was only meant to be displayed in 720p, and I got a full HD TV, so it's kind of hard for it to output 1080p. But if I, were, if I got... Uh, PGR4, you guys would see the true Project Gotham Racing, what it really looks like with a 1080p Xbox 360 game console. But all in all, Project Gotham Racing and Gran Turismo are pretty much tied. I like Gran Turismo more than I do Project Gotham Racing because Gran Turismo is true to its originality and it has a lot of things that I love that makes racing games so much fun. But then again, I like Project Gotham Racing too because it has a lot of the things that Gran Turismo has and it encourages style racing, you know, using school cool moves and stuff like that. You saw me trying to drift in the replay. Uh, I like it because it encourages that and at the same time holds true to realistic car graphics. I never knew the Ferrari Enzo had a Diplomental Rear Spoiler. I only knew it after I took a test drive of it in Project Gotham Racing 3. And that's what a lot of these racing games do. They don't show you the real cars, what, how they really perform. And that's sad. So Gran Turismo and PGR are two phenomenal games. And I pray that someone or Bizarre Creations decide to bring back.
PGR. Well, I'm John Campbell, and that's my review of GT5 Prologue versus PGR3. I'm out.